All right, what up? It's your boy. I'm back again. You can see, continuing from last week, we won a game. But we got a couple big decisions. One, we can decide whether or not we want to resign Jameis Winston. The answer to that is no. We do not wish to resign Jameis Winston. We will resign Demar Dotson though. So uh, let's see if he takes two years, ten million dollars. Sounds good. The follow-up for Jameis Winston is we do have some trade offers. So we have this offer from the Miami Dolphins for a second round and a fourth round. And I'm thinking really hard about it because we are definitely looking to build for the future more than we're looking to play for the present. And I think that we should take it. So we can accept that offer. All right, so now we have made our decision for the future. We're going with O'Brien. No BS, no garbage. Future is now in the, in uh, Tampa Bay. Here we go to start our game. We're in goal line. We're on the nine yard line. Seems like a good chance to get our rookie quarterback a uh, A nice first passing touchdown to start his career. Great play. Start. Oh my. That was almost even worse than could have been predicted. But we got the ball back. I think we're going to wind up uh, settling for the field goal. We got to remember. We can't really do long developing routes because our rookie left tackle. So we have to be really careful. Oh, that's bad times. There's nothing feels worse. Nothing feels worse than a red zone pick sick. You go from you should be getting points to they're getting points. An ignominious start to the first start for O'Brien, our uh, new franchise quarterback. So there we're gonna go. We're gonna spread them out. See what we can do. And there we go. That is our boy O'Brien's first touchdown pass of his career. And it ties up the ball game against the Rams. We're not out of it yet. Three-year plan looking pretty good in week three. All right, so here we go. We got three, all three of our timeouts. One minute, two-minute drill. Let's see what we got. And Deshaun Jackson. We're just going to go ahead and call a timeout. Deshaun Jackson with the big catch. He's playing bump on Evans. We're going to send Evans on a go as well. You can't bump Mike Evans. Deshaun Jackson again with a big catch. We're going to run no huddle. Get going before they can get set. We'll call our second timeout. A great two-minute drill so far. Looks like we're in field goal range. We got one timeout left. I actually don't like the look of this. Who puts all these people in? They're on box. Montgomery does not get first down. Try to go quickly and get set. Brandon, all things considered, they have to feel pretty good about getting that type of a game considering the blitz that they just had against him. He gets in. That's all it takes. All right, so we need a big stop here. We need a big stop. Now that their opponents are in the red zone. We're up a touchdown. We're trying. We make sure we stay up a touchdown in the fourth quarter. It's this potent Rams offense. We get faked out by the play action. 
Oh, man. Juked us all the way out. We were going to kill Todd Gurley. And instead, we give up a touchdown. Tie ball game. All right, here we go. In the game. Rookie quarterback. First career start. What you got for me, bud? Three minutes in ticking. We just need a field goal to win the game. Sean Jackson continues to come through. Chris Godwin. But at this point, we're in field goal range, and we have to make sure we stay in field goal range. Let's see what we can do. Did he get my first down? Oh my goodness, third and inches. If we had a big back, we should have gone with a big back. If we didn't in the offseason. Might hurt us a little bit here. So we have to see what we can do. We just need inches. Just need inches. As you can see, the D line is is incredible for the Rams. So rough times. We find our hole, hit our hole, make them use a timeout. Down to a minute fifteen. So we're just going to keep running it to our right side. There's the second time out. That's fine. Run it to our right side. That's where our strength is. And we're going to get this win. Okay, coming out of the timeout, we're going to go in our eye formation. Run it right behind the center and the guard. Make them use their last timeout. We're going to leave them with about 20 seconds. Montgomery gets bumped out of his hole if he just goes hits the hole hard. That's the first down and possibly into the game. They're bringing extra men in the block in the box. That's fine. We're only here for one thing. And Montgomery breaks through to the goal line. 58 seconds left. He's not even averaging, I guess, barely averaging three yards a carry. But boy, came through when it mattered. Let me tell you. So we're going to run this play at about 15 seconds. We're oh, sorry, we can't go down that low. Get our timeout. One second left. Go down to our special teams. Make sure we hit our correct button. Don't want to hit the wrong button. Wind up doing a fake field goal. Make sure you hit X. So it'll all come down to the booming right leg of Greg Zerline. The clock showing just one tick. This I don't even need him to boom it. I just need him to put it through. Puts it through. Barely. I'm really bad at field goals. But we win. We win. First win for... Our rookie quarterback, amazing job. Two touchdowns and one interception. Looked really good. So I think the future is looking bright. I think a three-year plan might even speed up. So fantastic game. Look at that. 71% completion percentage, 261 yards, two touchdowns. That's a, that's a great first start for our rookie quarterback, and I couldn't be more hyped.